A lot of effort goes into the, the stages and the surroundings and making it sound good and look good. And these are experiences that you don't get in a club. You don't get those experiences surrounded by trees where people have you know, thought about the decor like this. Uh, and so I think it's a totally awesome experience of raving. The energy of people who absorb the music and give their, you know, their vibe back to the, to the DJs, the freaking producers, it's, it's, it's incredible, you know, this, this relationship which is obviously clearly means something. It creates peace and harmony and happiness, which is very rare in your day-to-day -day life. You know, so many people are caught up in such a rat race of survival. But coming here, everyone can take their hats off and just relax and hug and enjoy Joy, and everybody's going to go back peaceful, happy. We've all raved in nightclubs and warehouses, but uh, we, we all know as soon as you step foot in nature and you can, you can feel the mud on your feet, you can, you, you can feel the air brushing past your face, you see the insects, you automatically feel grounded and calm. And then, of course, we all love melodic music. Um, so when, when you bring them together, it's like... Uh, something magical happens. I think outdoor festivals are a huge part of the industry now, especially during the summer season. That's what most of the clubbers are looking forward to and going to. So it's really important as well for the artists to be playing at the festivals. But this one particularly is a little bit different because it's such a cool location and it's more foresty rather than open air and it's got the art side of things. So it's quite unique, I think. It's all feeling, it's all emotion. And it's, it's a moment of drifting away. It's a moment of losing time. And and just being present with what is. To share feelings, you know, what it's like being human. Like, bottom line, it's like we're all the same. We all, we, we're all the same. It's, fundam it's not important, it's fundamental for people to experience this sort of thing. It, there's, a, there's a release and there's a, there's, a, there's a connection to something very primal that I don't think you can put, put it into words. It's a feeling. I'm not, for, for as long as I've been doing this, and I've been doing this for since I was 14 years old. I'm 48 now, so that's quite a long time. And I still can't put my finger on it. There's just some magic that, that you know, holds, it's a drum, it's nature, it's a celebration, and it's been going on since man was able to do it. People need this. The life we lead, the shit that goes on all around us, life is getting, you know, it's complicated, it's difficult, it's stressful. This is such a release and it's it's so important, it's it's medicine. I mean, since uh, human beings are existing, it always they like to come together to some tribalish events and ceremonying some kind of music, ryth rhythmic things, but uh, yeah, and it still feels, I always preferred somehow playing more in in the nature than being in a dark club with artificial lights and stuff. Uh, it still creates a different energy being out and just in the nature where maybe people belong and uh, yeah, it's something really special that's hard to describe. It's just an amazing happening and people like to celebrate this. I like to celebrate with the people, I like to do this with you and I, I just like to feel, you know, after three, four hours playing, I like to feel what I feel now, like happy and satisfaction and that's it it's not about the money of course the money is always nice but we, we didn't come here for money so this was our first um, chance to present what we do yeah. in the English nature we did clubs in London here and there but today was unique and super special do you know what this is the antidote to Western urban living. Come and get back to nature. Come and get in touch with nature. If you like, come and connect with the cosmos. You're under the stars. 
the moon, the sun beating down, even a bit of rain, it doesn't matter. You know, we're surrounded by the forest and the leaves and the trees and all the spirits that come with that, that, you know, we fall out of touch with in our normal lives. So we come here and we reconnect with all of that. And this is a, a, a golden opportunity. We all know what it feels like to go camping and sit around a fire and stare at nature's television, the flames and the meditation you can get into just by being in this space. So people work for months on end to create this environment for us to turn up for one weekend and just blast and have a great time. And you don't notice all the hard work that's gone into creating the tree houses and all the, you know, the wooden structures and the art installations and the bars and all this, you know, ergonomic nature that, that we have around us. Uh, but this is our chance to come back to our roots.